Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Uh, I, I believe I know exactly what this is. This came from Urban EDC Supply and it is or should be available right now. I think you guys will be really excited about this. I'll link it right down below so you guys can check it out. This is probably my favorite design to come out of Urban EDC Supply. They have a lot of cool stuff and it's worth checking out. So either way, I would uh, I would invite you to check out that link in the description and, and take a look around uh, their website. Um, but uh, this in particular is very cool. Thanks so much to Urban EDC Supply for sending this in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what we got here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that in there. Okay. Here we go. Is this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this all the way up to get into the package. What's this? Well, there you go. Uh, make sure you check them out on social media, etc. So this, oh, they did send me the, the Stormtrooper G10 version. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Stormtrooper uh, version of the Urban EDC Supply F5.5. This is super cool. This is a great design. I have one in titanium, but now this one in G10. This, what I like about this is the general overall EDC profile, the blade shape, the fact especially that it is a uh, countersunk or nested steel liner. And by the way, those liners are on both sides. This absolutely does very uh, does look very stormtrooper-y. Um, but the general overall profile of this thing, sorry, I'm just playing around with it left-handed. The general overall uh, profile of this thing and um, the fact that you can get your finger right there on the nose of the blade, which I really like. I have very much enjoyed carrying my titanium version, which I'm actually going to get out for you guys and show off here real quick. I am fairly certain that they will continue to do this variant again. But they sent this to me a long time ago, um, or I pre-ordered it. And they sent it to me, and I've just very much enjoyed it. It doesn't make it into my pocket all the time because I have about 130 knives, but the times that I have carried it, I've just really, really liked it. I'll give you guys a weight. We'll do overall length, and we'll do weight and stuff like that um, just so you you know, can uh, get that information. There's not really a big incentive for me to do like a full review on this knife because I've, I've already reviewed it. It's just the same thing with G10. But if you're not familiar with it, overall length is coming in at, yeah, I guess we're gonna call it seven inches to the back of that. Blade length, three inches, cutting edge, mm, not quite 2.75. But it, you know, the fact that it's got a fairly roomy forward choil there is something that I really like. Weight, the difference between the titanium and the G10 is probably about half an ounce, I'm gonna guess. Titanium one, 4.37 ounces. Oh, more than that, 3.53 ounces. Pretty good ratios on this as well. Um, the white G10 will probably, I don't know, it's not picking up anything immediately here. Sorry, my the dead skin on my fingers is gross. Um, but it looks slightly textured, but it's honestly pretty darn smooth. I don't think it really needs to be textured. I really like the contrast of the white and black here. I don't think it really needs to be textured. Um, I also like the DLC on the blade. That's nice. You can see it's M390 right there. Action's really nice. Really, really nice. Detent's really nice. This is no different feeling of overall quality. I mean, it's been a while since I picked this up. I don't know if that's like... I think it's over a year, maybe closer to two years since I got this one, and the quality feels exactly the same, right? I think these are still fairly pricey, and I'm wondering if... Oh, that's titanium. Okay, interesting. The liner, the liner's titanium? I did not expect that. I don't think there's a lock bar insert. It doesn't look like it. Unless, well, I don't see anything that, unless, uh, there's some, there's an area here that's textured and an area that is not. Is that? What am 
am I looking at here? Is this the lock bar insert? <laughs> I can't tell. In any case, it appears as though the liners are titanium, which is a nice surprise. I honestly expected them to be steel. The only time the magnet wants it is when the blade's in the handle. Otherwise, it is thoroughly unconcerned with any of this, which I believe, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be aluminum for anybody going, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not titanium. <laughs> Stop. I know. But as far as the materials that are likely to be used as the lock, it's not going to be aluminum, right, or anything else, because that would be silly. I think that's the same way with this guy. Yeah, everything. It's all tight. All of this titanium. Okay, well, that's nice. That helps out because this is still pretty pricey. The titanium one's definitely more when they have it, but this guy's still pretty pricey. But knowing that we've got titanium in there, right? G10, M390, and titanium, not so bad. This is a fantastic EDC knife, and you can go back and watch my review on this guy and the design in general if you want to, but highly recommendable knife, right? The price tag isn't going to blow your socks off, but... Given the materials and general competition, overall execution, et cetera, et cetera, uh, it's not a bad. It's not a bad price, right? By I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. There's certainly companies out there offering similar materials at more competitive prices, but I like this overall profile and I like the way that it's done. So that price isn't one that makes me go, oh, eh, oh, I can't, right? Um, and I like the Stormtrooper aesthetic. I think, think they also have. I could be wrong. Just use the link and see. I think they may also have one in all black right now. I'm not really sure. They might actually have a few different options. So if this isn't your jam, right, which it's not going to be for everybody, if this isn't your jam, you can check out and see if they've got other uh, versions. The YG-10 over time will probably, you know, start to kind of dirty up, but G-10 is pretty easy to clean off, right? You can also dye it uh, with this being white g10 you know if you want to keep this aesthetic forever you can just keep cleaning it off scrubbing it off or you can dye it whatever color you want with rit dye uh, white g10 is obviously going to be the easiest base you know if you're looking to sort of customize it but yeah pretty cool I'll let you guys take a look at the deal right here uh black pvd coated titanium eh, underneath yeah okay pretty cool P I said DLC is PVD. Sorry about that. I should have known. It's got that little... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So I can't tell. <laughs> PVD and DL DLC are absolutely different, right? Um, but they usually they have a different feel. PVD, in my experience, feels a little more s smooth, while DLC feels a little more chalky. But then again, that, that definition was something that I noticed, you know, years ago. I don't know if they've actually changed the process or how they feel like the final you know surface finishes but anyway i don't need this i don't i don't, I don't, uh, I don't think this video needs to go on anymore like i said i'll link this right down below so you guys can check it out thanks so much to urban edc supply for sending this in for me to take a look at please make sure to follow me on instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you'd like to check out my other content i do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that i do or don't like so check those out and if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.